Hey, good evening everybody. It's Carl. Welcome back to the bathroom. It's time for the uh, Tuesday scrape. Hope everybody's doing well. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, the week is off to a decent start. Nothing to really write home about. So, let's get into the shave. A couple of weeks ago, maybe more than that by now, um, Cal Shaves hit me up on Facebook Messenger and informed me that he had uh, sold his razorine and a straight razor and the person he sold it to um, was a new user and Cal asked if I would be so kind as to pass on some tips and of course being the, uh, uh, the gentleman that I am I uh, decided I had no problem with that I even told him I'd make a, uh, a tutorial video for the razorine so here it is hope everybody's doing good let's get this going I uh, don't know how long this is going to take Here's my disclaimer. I am no professional shaver. Uh, I am just a fat bald guy in the bathroom who makes videos. I own a razor ring. I use it occasionally. Um, I have some experience with it. Other than that, that's what I got. So we'll be using the razor ring tonight. This is the uh, stainless steel smooth handle version. I think they have a newer version that's got some knurling on the handle. That is probably my only complaint about the razor ring. Um, I've got it loaded with a uh, Rapira Platinum Lux second use, and uh, we'll just start all over from scratch. We'll get it loaded up, and then I'll get lathered up. For the um, rest of the shave stuff, Little Tim's Cedar Spice, uh, finishing it off with Haga uh, Green. For the brush, Vander Hagen Boss. All right, so the Razorine is kind of a three-piece or a two-piece razor. It's essentially a DE head with a straight handle, kind of like a Chevette or a Kamasori. Um, I don't know the origins or any of that stuff because I'm not a professional YouTuber. Um, I just play one on TV. So you load the blade. There's two slots that go into the uh, razor holes. I don't know. Is that what those things are called? Place it on the handle. Get everything to line up nice and neat. It will kind of lock into place. There's just a little bit of play in there. And then it has this nice bolt that screws on to the post in the back and that snugs everything down. Just like with a DE blade, you want to make sure that everything is uh, relatively straight and in, in good working condition. The blade is aligned, all that good stuff. Give it a nice little tug and you're good to go. All right, so I am fresh out of the shower. Got about uh, 48 hours worth of growth, so I'm gonna get lathered up. So, yeah, anyway, Razorine tutorial. I don't know how. Um, if I'm the right guy to do the tutorial, there are definitely folks out there who are more proficient with this blade. Um, and to be honest, he sent me the gentleman's uh, Facebook Messenger, and he has not. Um, asked me for any tips privately so I'm assuming he's either not used the razor or he's doing okay with what he found online so maybe he found something um, already that gave him the information he needed I know I've used it a few times on camera and there are some excellent shavers out there um, I believe Jeffrey Smith has used it I know Dave Card has used it and probably a dozen others Geo Fatboy over at Shave Nation, did a tutorial and an overview when he started selling them on his website. He even sold some that he, <coughs> excuse me, if I remember right, he even took some out of the packaging and then plasti dipped the handle so that there would be a little bit more texture and a little less slippery. So um, I'm sure there, like I said, I'm sure there are plenty of great tutorials out there and this may not be one of them, but I'm gonna do my best. So, much like a DE razor, it's got a contoured um, blade cap, and you just kind of place it on your face, find the right angle, and shave. The only difference is you shave with it like a shavette or a straight razor. So, give the skin a little tug, find your angle. The contour of the blade cap makes life nice and easy, no pressure. And gentle, nice, easy strokes. Going down. Give it a rinse every now and again and you're good to go.
This is also very similar in design to the Duane, I believe is how it's pronounced. I call it the Duane because I'm a hillbilly from Texas. Um, Chevette, which is essentially a cap or a head like this on a folding um, straight razor type Chevette body. Ooh, you just kind of move along the contours of your face. As with any straight razor or Chevette Kamasori, I recommend when you first get started to just kind of start with just your cheeks to get the, the, um, the technique down. Don't be in a hurry. And shave just your cheeks, sideburn areas, and then do your neck with a DE or a cartridge razor or whatever else you'd normally use. Um, as you become more comfortable with it, and this actually you can become pretty comfortable with easily. Um, just start working your way down the chin. Nice, easy, shallow, or not shallow, but nice, easy strokes. Using the curved blade cap to help you find and set your angle. That is definitely the advantage that the, the Razorine has over a Commissori. Is that blade cap helps you find the angle. So it definitely makes it a little less intimidating to shave with. That being said, you still can cut yourself with this thing. I have done it. I believe I did it on camera not too terribly long ago. All right, so same same deal. Once you get to the chin, you're gonna wanna twist and contort your neck just like your straight razor shaving or DE shaving. You kinda get the, the, the skin flat so that you can get the best angle at the hairs. When you're coming in on the chin, now I have a goatee, so it's a little bit of a cheat for me because I don't have to come around the chin. So I just find the edge of my goatee, make a stupid face, and come straight down. Follow the contour of the neck. All right, now the one thing that the Razorine does force you to do is it force you to use your left hand or your non-dominant hand because of the uh, screw. You can't really, I guess you could if you wanted to, so I'll take that back, but you can't flip the blade over, so you're only using one, one side at a time, um, which makes it more like a traditional commissory or straight razor. So once again, find your starting point, your mileage may vary depending on the amount of sideburns you have. You just gently work your way down. For the first pass, for which most people is going to be down, it's going to be with the green. You can puff out your cheek a little bit, kind of help give you a little bit more surface area. Get a little bit of a closer shave. Same thing with that technique there. You can kind of tuck your chin and we'll flatten that out a little bit for you. You can also pull your skin up and that pulls it over the jawline. So that when you release it, it drops back down. Kind of helps you get the, the skin that naturally runs along the corner of the jaw. You can get a little closer shave on that. Less finagling. Trying to get it nice and close. You 
this part to go across the grain or with the grain for me here is up after the ditch in my neck I think I just cut myself always pay attention to where your hands are sure enough so don't do that pay attention to where your hands in the razor are so you're not moving your hands around the blade like a moron That's the second time in a week I've done that. I did that last week, I think, off camera. All right, and so then to come across the, the blade, or across this, across, same technique. Give it a little touch, a little tug, stretch the skin. There you go. That's the first pass for me, and that is with or a, with the grain. Mustache, same deal. Just like with a straight uh, DE razor, just kind of come in and scoop down. All right, that's the first pass. So that's really basically the entire technique. As you can see, I'm a moron and I cut my knuckle. Um, the only other thing I can really say about it is you have to find what grip works for you. Like I said, on this particular model, it's very slick, so you have to be careful with that. I personally hold it like this between my fingers. I feel like it gives me a little bit more control and a little bit better grip. But once again, your mileage will vary. You'll have to find which way it works for you. Um, all that being said, let's do the next pass. Make sure your hands are nice and dry when you start, especially with this particular model, because the grip shin, the lack of texture on the handle is kind of awkward. All right, so up. So for the upstrokes, grasp, grasp it like this. Find that angle top cap. And just shave. And for me, this is across the grain on the majority of my neck and chin and cheeks. And for the ditch of the neck, that go down, which is across the grain. And for the cheeks, I personally give a tug up.
on a couple of weepers there. Kind of felt those when I was coming up. Sorry about that, y'all. Uh, someone called. <laughs> um, so. I had to send them to voicemail. So this will be the last pass, so I can take this call. But that's it. Um, I hope that was helpful to anybody who wants, who was curious about using the Razorine. The big things are is make sure you got a good grip on it. <clears throat> Don't wave your hands around and hit your knuckles on the blade, because like a moron. And uh, just use that curve in the top cap to find your angle and just have a good shave. Um, start slow. Just work the cheeks until you get the motion, and, you know, get comfortable with it in your hand. Those are the biggest tips I've got. Um, I'm going to get cleaned up and do all that stuff off camera. I'm going to return this phone call. I hope everybody has a great evening, great rest of the week. Thanks for spending a little bit of time with me, and um, I'll see you next time I shave. Thanks again. Um, <clears throat> all that being said, go spend some time with your friends and family. It's very important during these unprecedented times. Make sure that you wear a mask because it really does make a difference and stay six feet apart. Thanks again. Have a great evening. Have a great week. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.